द लास्ट लेसन बाय एल्फोंस डॉरेट इन दिस वीडियो लेसन आई विल गिव यू एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर एंड एक्सप्लेन इट अलोंग विद अ क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस एल्फोंस डॉरेट वॉज अ फ्रेंच शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर एंड नॉवलिस्ट द स्टोरी द लास्ट लेसन is said during the days of the franco-prussian war which was fought between 1817 and 1871 in which france was defeated by prussia led by bismarck the people of alsace and lorraine were denied the freedom to learn their own language by the prussians it draws our attention to the unfair practice of linguistic chauvinism what is linguistic chauvinism it is an unreasonable pride in one's own language while disregarding all the other languages as inferior while it is good to have pride in one's own language to disregard others languages is a hugely negative trait the themes of patriotism freedom of language and the love for one's mother tongue are predominant in this story this story also makes a universal appeal as it highlights our tendency to value things more when we no longer have access to them it stresses upon the importance of education and the necessity to respect and learn one's own language when french was taught in the school franz and other students like him did not take it seriously but when they are denied the freedom of learning their own language due to a political change obviously it is at that time that they regret their inability to use their own language and they also start understanding its true value let's begin with the lesson the lesson starts with franz's apprehension apprehension means hesitation franz was hesitant about going to school one particular morning not only was he late he had not even prepared his lesson on participles due to which he feared a scolding from his teacher m hamel he was tempted to stay out of doors because it was warm and bright he wanted to enjoy the beauty of nature the birds chirping in the woods and the prussian soldiers drilling but he resisted the temptation of missing class and hurried off to school there was something important happening at the town hall bulletin board as he was crossing the town hall franz saw a crowd in front of the bulletin board this bulletin board was very important because all the war related news used to be put up on it since the war began the board was a medium between the public and the government medium means a means of communication information regarding the lost battles the draft the orders of the commanding officers and other things came from there franz did not stop there as he was in a hurry to go to school but wondered what could be the matter when the blacksmith called franz and asked him not to go so fast as there was plenty of time franz thought that he was making fun of him the queer silence at the school by the time franz reached school he was out of breath there was an unusual silence all around 
Usually, there was a great commotion which could be heard out in the street. The sound of children opening and closing desks, repeating lessons together and the teacher wrapping his ruler on the table. He had thought that he would take advantage of the noise and quietly get to his desk without even being noticed. But that day it was very quiet and different. M. Hamel didn't scold him but spoke to him very kindly. When he got over his fright, he saw that the teacher was dressed in his special clothes that he wore on inspection and prize days. The whole school was strange and serious. The elderly village people were sitting quietly on the back benches that were always empty. Everybody looked sad and one of them had brought an old primary book and then a stunning announcement was made. M. Hamel sat on his chair and announced in a serious tone that this was their last lesson in French. He told them about the order that had come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. Their new teacher would come from the next day. These words were a shock for Franz. He realized that that was the information that was put up at the town hall. Sense of regret at not learning French. Franz felt a great sense of regret that he had not taken his French lessons seriously. He had been wasting his time in seeking birds' eggs or going sliding on the Saar. Saar is the name of the river. He was hit by a sudden realization about how little French he had learnt. Up till now, he hardly knew how to even write the language. A new fondness for his books as well as for his teacher developed in him. They now appeared to be old friends that he couldn't give up. As he entered the classroom, he saw that M. Hamel had put on his fine Sunday clothes in honour of this last lesson. Franz now understood why the old men of the village were sitting there at the back of the room. They were also feeling very sorry that they had not gone to school when they should have, that is, when they were younger. They were there in the school to express their gratitude to their master for his 40 years of faithful service. They were also showing their respect for the country that did not belong to them anymore. Reasons for not learning French M. Hamel started listening to the students recite their lessons. When it was Franz's turn, he wanted to say all the difficult participle rules very loudly and clearly, without any mistakes. But he got mixed up on the very first words and was very embarrassed. Yet M. Hamel did not scold him on that day. He identified this as a problem with the people of Alsace, as she, as in Alsace, kept postponing learning for a later time. The people thought that they had plenty of time for learning and even doing other things. He expressed his disappointment regarding man's general inclination towards 
procrastinating things. Procrastination means postponement. The thought that I will do so and so thing tomorrow. As a result of this attitude, they had not been able to learn their mother tongue. He made the villagers realize the absurdity of not being able to speak or write their own language. M. Hamel realizes that all three, the students, the teachers, the parents, were to be blamed for this. Franz's parents preferred to put him to work on a farm or at the mills for a little extra money. He accepted his own shortcomings also as he sent Franz to water his flowers when he should have learned his lessons. He also gave them a holiday whenever he wanted to go fishing. The importance of learning French. Then the teacher spoke about the French language and termed it as the most beautiful language in the world. It was also the clearest and the most logical one. He went on to talk about the importance of safeguarding their own language. He explained how one's language can serve as a ray of hope in times of enslavement and captivity. He asked them to never forget it because it would provide them with the key to the prison as they had lost their freedom. M. Hamel's last lesson. Then M. Hamel delivered his last lesson. He taught grammar with so much patience that it seemed very easy to understand. More so because they had never listened so carefully. He wanted to give them all that he knew and to put all into their heads at one stroke. It was followed by a writing exercise and a history lesson. Franz, for the first time, seemed to enjoy the lesson, taking in every bit of information effortlessly. Franz's changed perception about French. Franz realized how a change in the medium of teaching could hardly destroy the relationship that people had with their native language. They hung little flags everywhere in the schoolroom with Franz Alsace, Franz Alsace written everywhere. On the roof, the pigeons scooed in a very low tone. Franz wondered whether the conquerors would meet them sing in German too. This comparison highlights the absurdity of the forceful imposition of another language. Long live France! M. Hamel had spent 40 years in this school. He was deeply affected and sat motionless, gazing at the things around. Hardly anything had changed. Only the desks and benches had become smooth and the trees in the garden were taller. Franz understood the pain of his teacher as he watched him trying to capture every nook and corner of the school in his memories. Everyone was emotional and some were crying and would remember that last lesson. When the church clock struck 12, indicating the end of the last French lecture, they heard the sound of the trumpets of the Prussians returning from the drill. M. Hamel wanted to say something but was choked by his emotions. 
all he did was that he wrote Vive la France on the blackboard. Then gestured with his hand and dismissed the class for the final time. If you learned from my video lesson, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.